Criticade! Basically, this game style makes me want to jerk off. Welcome to Criticade. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I... Everything about this game, this is probably the most beautiful 2D game I've ever played. I love the aesthetic of it, I love the look of it, I love how dynamic everything is, I, I like the look of the sprites, I like how uh, Jeez, animated. Man. The only game that comes close is fucking Aladdin for the Super Nintendo, which has beautiful animation. Uh, ugh. I fucking it's pretty. love I do looking like this. at Sonic Mania. Like what? <laughs> now he's saw bladeless, so he yeah. just kind of has to stand there. He's just sad. <laughs> I, I wish he actually Crap. looked physically sad. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's part of the, that. That seems like this would. That I, I, I kind of wish. Demo. Yeah, I kind of wish that he would also like freak out and kind of like try and snip me or something yeah. if I when I took out his counter. <laughs> yeah, like like he's like, oh fuck, my brother. Uh, yeah, but. Uh, this game has a very uh, good sense of personality. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I love that. And, and that's what I've always loved about Sonic in general, is, is there's this overwhelming sense that you are that you are playing as a recognizable character. You, even if, even if yeah, in, well, this, in the first Sonic game, you're playing as a character that just you knew was going to be timeless. Well, I, I think that's hard to say now. Mm -hmm. Like, I would want to talk to someone who came out when that game, like, that when that game came out when they were, like, an adult. Or yeah, something. Like a young adult. And I mean, adult. I'm, I'm talking about, like, like, what I've heard a lot about from people. Sure, sure. Uh, and, and you know, I, I'm big on YouTube. I, I watch a lot of YouTube. Yeah. I, I pretty much have the perspective of someone who was alive in the 90s down because that's all I fucking watch. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of like the Stranger Things effect. Oh, I guess. Yeah, they weren't alive in the Yeah, years, yeah, they, they weren't they alive. They sure the as years, hell but... get it. Yeah. Um... Uh, and I, I feel like, like if I were put in the position of making something that encapsulates the '90s, I feel like I'd do a really good job. Okay. Uh, but that's, I mean, that's my feeling. <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't know if you I know. tried it unless yeah, I. Yeah, but I mean, you should try it. Yeah. I mean, fucking, you never know until you give it a shot. So, mm -hmm. so do it. Yeah. If I ever developed a, a TV show, it would, it would definitely take place in the '90s. You know, and, and more so, the '90s are happening in the background. Okay. Like like that show. What's the fucking show that takes place in the eighties? Oh, that nineties show. Fuck off, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dickhole. <laughs> well, I mean that's the concept. It's like yeah. the concept of happy days and shit. You know, being nostalgic for a period. That's true. That's very true. Like, you know, <laughs> if they made a show that was like super nineties right now, that well, no, it probably wouldn't do well. If it went on Netflix, it would do super well. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, because that's what happened. I mean, that's what happened with, with that 70s show in the day because that was the most prominent medium. <laughs> I'm stuck in an infinite loop. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it too. <laughs> and I, li I like how when you're running, Sonic just kind of makes the infinity yeah. symbol because so it, so it contextually tells you what's happening. Yeah. And that's something I appreciate about this game and it, is, is that is that it does cute little things, but it doesn't treat you like you're fucking stupid about him. Uh, one of my favorite bosses in this game, uh, which I don't know if we'll get to, unless we continue playing this game. Yeah, we can continue, season. like, maybe later or something. Yeah. Um, uh, but in case you don't know, and spoilers for Sonic Mania, if, if, uh, if you care. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a boss later in Stardust Speedway, which is a level from Sonic CD, which is the first appearance of Metal Sonic into the canon. Metal Sonic. And uh, you fight Metal Sonic, and he... Uh, he has a little minion, which is Silver Sonic, which was like the precursor to yeah, him that they had in yeah. Sonic 2. So uh, the way that you beat Metal Sonic is Silver Sonic spin dashes at you. Yeah. And he just keeps doing it forever and ever. And you're like, what the fuck? Why can't I do any damage to either of them? Yeah. And then you find out <laughs> eventually just by trying things that you spin dash into Silver Sonic and then he bounces all around the room and then he hits Metal Sonic. Yeah. And it feels fucking dope. <laughs> and that's one of my favorite bosses in the game. Okay. I, I mean, I also love Silver, er, er, Metal Sonic. I oh, think Metal Sonic's fucking badass. Metal Sonic is so fucking cool. There's a lot of good, uh, like, character design. Where was I? What oh, the okay. fuck was that? <laughs> what happened? I think that was a glitch. Whatever, it happens. <laughs> Apparently, there's like a lot of like a lot of glitches. Yeah. I haven't. I didn't encounter any. a single glitch. Yeah, in I, I haven't seen any, but I've heard a lot of like, "Who's this fucked up for me?" And like, mm -hmm. okay. But even then, it's like minor shit. It's like yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the, I, I don't think anyone's complaining. Yeah, no one, no one's like this game is unfucking playable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, this level has the prettiest fucking aesthetic. Like, if you stand still and look at these fucking flowers for a minute, yeah. Oh, it just looks so nice. Too bad you can't. You're going fast. <laughs> it's true. You gotta go fast. <laughs> um, and I love, I love the environments in Sonic. Yeah, that's probably my favorite part. Well, that's of the just whole yeah, thing. classic level design, like mm -hmm. making everything feel unique. 
Yes. And like, and Sonic succeeds at that in drones, uh, droves. And I like how when you run fast through those little piles, the leaves scatter everywhere, and it feels so fucking cool. <laughs> and I like how the freezing in this level uh, is a mechanic in itself, where you will miss out on some of the higher paths if you don't let it freeze you for a specific point in time to, yeah, uh, yeah. to break through certain objects. I love that. Uh, cause it, cause it's experimenting with it, it, it encourages experimentation with the, with the things that it's giving. I guess. But again, my problem with it is that freezing is supposed to be a failure. Like, mm -hmm. you're not supposed to want to be frozen. Yeah. So, so getting frozen is kind of like, you're getting punished to find, and then you're doing something wrong, and then you're getting rewarded. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I feel like in certain cases where, uh, you have to get frozen, like, like yeah, the game there, forces there you to yeah, be frozen, and then, and then... Right there. That was that was that was the point where it shows you that mechanic. So, um, it, it right then and there, what happened was it froze you, and you didn't have enough time to break out. So yeah. it showed that you broke through the ice. It it, it, sh it showed you. It did not tell you, uh, which is which is good game design. Uh, and uh, and so later in the level, when when they start thro throwing objects in your way, you're like, oh, maybe sometimes the freezing can be useful, and then you have to pick and choose whether or not. Like, right now, freezing is clearly good, the good thing to do. Yeah. But you could just continue just but running upwards. I just, I just, I just have, a, a, like, a moral problem with the fact that you're doing something wrong. It'd be like if you have to get hit by spikes to, to advance in the level. It's just, it's supposed to be your punishment, mm -hmm. and yet... Well, that's, that's why it has the thing that exhibits that sometimes it's not a punishment. It shows you that. I, I, I guess, but again, yeah. you're, you're getting hit by enemies... You, shouldn't want you weren't to. hit by an enemy. You were, you well, were, these things free, the fucking things they freeze you, don't they? Uh, no, no. The uh, only maybe, thing that maybe freezes I you are the little that. plumes. And sometimes, sometimes it, it ends in you going bad. Sometimes it ends in you going right. And that's yeah. Well, that, I don't like that. And they should pick a lane. Yeah, I mean, it, it never. There's never a point in this game where the ice will kill you. Yeah. There, it, the only times the ice will do things for you is either. You do something right with it, or or you go down to the lower path. So yeah. it's really about picking and choosing, uh, and and trying to find out what gives you the best path. And it's about get, learning learning for next time, and that's a big portion of this game. Uh, yeah, I, I I've already said my piece about why I have problems with it. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna go into it again. Gotcha. <laughs> I like it. Sure. Uh, and I I believe <laughs> <laughs> I believe this is probably one of uh, my favorite. Designs of a game that I played recently. Sure. In a long time. Like I love, I love everything about how this game plays and works, and 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 the way that it interacts with you, and it, the way that it, I don't know, it just makes you feel smart sometimes. Uh, it makes you, it, it, it's, it has elements of puzzle and problem solving while going fast and platforming, and I, I appreciate. I, I, that. I really disagree with that. Oh shit, I'm out of this. From like a, just from a basic level, I just don't agree. Like it, it, I don't think that it encourages encourages you to be smart. It encourages you to just kind of go through once, then again, then again, then again. Well, and even it's then, like, I, I still ended up getting on a lot of the high roads just through you know feeling it out. But you're you're an avid Sonic player. Not classic. I played a lot of Sonic One when I was a kid. I, I actually didn't play Sonic Two and Three very much at all when I was young. Okay. And th that's you're, you still played a lot of Sonic. That's true, but I mean, Sonic, <laughs> Sonic One is very different than this kind of game. That's true, because but, this, but is, this, this is based on to Sonic, Sonic Three two and Three. Yeah. yeah, this this is this game is very much so a sequel to Sonic. Yeah, like in pretty oh much yeah, it, like, it just it just is. It just incorporates all the elements that made. I that mean, game. it starts off going into Three. Yeah, like, it, <laughs> it, it, do, it does it does the exact same opening. Like yeah. The, the opening that we saw was from Sonic 3, and then you're supposed to run into Knuckles and something happens. Mm -hmm. And a clever little thing is if you play as Knuckles, he's waiting off screen for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, and, like, and, then, the then and then shit he gets happens. Knocked out. Yeah. Yeah. And he goes back in time. Mm -hmm. So that's but, a little clever thing. Yeah, but, th but this <gasps> oh, game. Oh shit, Metal Sonic? Yeah, I think Metal the next level you go to is, is Start a Speedway, actually. Okay. Well, yeah. we're, we're going to get to that maybe next time. On maybe Criticade. next time, but maybe, maybe we gotta wait maybe another not. thirty seconds before we do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but also maybe like, yeah, start a speedway. I love this level. Um, and and that's that's uh, start a speedway means a little something more to this game because the main developer of the game is a guy named Christian Whitehead, and his his claim to fame with Sega was was designing ports for Sonic CD for modern consoles, and that's those. When I talk about me liking Sonic CD, it's that. 
Because Sonic <laughs> CD isn't that good of a game. No, it's not. Uh, but the Christian Whitehead's versions of them, uh, that adds the widescreen, that fixes a lot of the problems, that adds the mechanics that, that make it work. Sure. Uh, th those are good Whoops. games. Um, and so so when when this game has Sonic CD included in it, you could feel the love of that game. Sure. In this, in you, this you can feel the love from just like playing this game. P the people who designed this game fucking love Sonic. Yes, and and I I love I appreciate that. And, yeah. and you know, as someone who you know, I dig it's on, nice I to make see. fun of Sonic a lot. Yeah. Sonic's <laughs> lame and edgy. Every single time I, I make fun of Sonic, I'm pretty much only making fun of the modern era of Sonic. Sure. You know, classic and, Sonic. There's not much to make fun of. And I, mean, I say, well, <laughs> I say that Sonic is is a bad design, and I mean it. I believe it. But this is probably this is the best Sonic game they've developed in a long time. Mm -hmm. And and you know, I did buy it. I, like I I haven't bought a Sonic game in fucking years because I'm so sick of their shit. But I bought this one because it, it is a good game. It is well designed. And uh, as far as a Sonic game, mm -hmm. it just I I will always. I'm never going to be silent about the problems I see with games. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so, yeah, that's. I do you like. You heard like folks. If you, if you don't like it, just stop watching. No, no, no. If you don't like. If you don't like Criticade, please tell me why. I, I will not respond to this show sucks, but I will respond to mm -hmm. analytic critiques of why our show is bad. Oh, and. And. Uh, to the people that that, that dropped uh, advice and info on my Saraha when I posted on Twitter, thanks. That's yeah. nice. Uh, I feel like that was just me vying for people to comment on my thing, so I got <laughs> bigger EP. So you got, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, honestly, uh, our Twitter inbox is open, our comments are open. If you have Shit, any yeah. issues with, with the way that the, the show is going, please let us know in, yeah. in, in the comments or Twitter, and we'll fix them. I mean, we... we be constructive. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, be constructive. <laughs> Don't be like, your show fucking sucks. Fucking blows. Be like... Be, be like, funnier. Robert's too positive, or Jacob's too <laughs> negative, or... Robert's too positive is not a comment we're ever gonna get. <laughs> I'm... I can... No, I'm a bit too... You, you've commented on how I can be a bit too positive I guess. sometimes. Yeah, I, I don't mean that in a bad way either. Mm -hmm. Again, comes from, like, I want us to be critical and shit. Yeah. Oh, God. I turn more into Grump every day. <laughs> I turned in it did not so I, I think this game this, this doing the show has made me less grumpy about less games, grumpy yeah. and I don't understand how <laughs> yeah I guess because I, I guess it's tried to make me look at things in more of an objective light and, and now that I've seen the emoji movie nothing ah. could be that bad <laughs> that's fair uh, emoji movie sets a new low yeah and <laughs> yeah I haven't seen it I really want to watch it actually. I've seen it twice have you yeah oh man oh <laughs> <laughs> it is. Have you? You mentioned it. I, I knew. Well, that. I, I mentioned it to you on the podcast, but yeah, yeah. or has come back. Has, yeah. No, has not. You, no, we're. Oh we're no, it has. Yeah, yeah we're five episodes yeah. deep. <laughs> yeah. So at this point, the the viewers have probably seen my my emoji movie rant on Twitter. Uh, also, check out our Twitter. The pin post will be my emoji movie thesis. Yeah. Paper that I'm writing <laughs> <laughs> for no reason and putting on Facebook. Yay. So I guess this was Sonic for now. Yeah. We'll, 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 pro we'll probably do it in the future. Yeah, if, if you like this. Uh, if you like us commenting on and arguing about Sonic. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, please let us know. if you, uh, Tell us what you think about Sonic Mania. And, yeah. And, um, Give us your opinions on Sonic. Uh, we fucking shout ours at you. Drop your so. Switch friend codes to us and we'll, we'll play some games with you or whatever. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, we both own Switch and we both own this game. I know yes. this game doesn't have online multiplayer, but... No. I mean, I own arms. Do you think that, is that coming? No, no. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, I don't think so. I, that would be neat. It would be neat, though. Yeah. I want to get arms, too. Really I love bad. arms, dude. Yeah, right? It's, it's like such a hard. It's so fun. Well, it doesn't matter We're what over. we think about arms. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys in the next episode of Critic Aid. See ya. We're going to be playing some more Mario or maybe Dream Dead Day or more <laughs> Go Alice. check out Alice. <laughs> <laughs> or we might try something different. <gasps>